Hello Internet, Adopted Mike here, and in this video I wanted to expand on a previous video, and that video being the bronze versus gold uh, power supply. And, and, you know, in the video before I showed the power consumption differences between the 80 plus bronze and 80 plus gold and showed that there was, you know, a bit of a difference. And a commenter left an interesting comment wanting me to take a look at a non 80 plus power supply and compare it to uh, the bronze and gold. So that's what I intend to do in this video. So we're back to the same test bench. I've got the same motherboard here, the 8-core AMD processor, uh, basically the same SSD and RAM, not that that matters much, and then the same video card. And then for uh, continuing the fair comparison, I'm going to be running Furmark on the GPU and Prime95 on the CPU to max both of them out. And in case you haven't seen the previous video, uh, here's my results. We had the bronze power supply pulling 380 watts maximum, give or take. And we had the gold pulling about 360 watts maximum, give or take. And now let's bring in the new contestant. This is the Rosewell RD400-2SB power supply and I couldn't find any information as far as efficiency on this particular power supply. Even on their website, they're not listing any kind of efficiency. So I think this is safe to assume that it is definitely sub 80%. So let's go ahead and hook it up to the test bench here and uh, continue on and do the testing. So, under the same workload, you can see it's a dramatic difference. Uh, um, that 440 watts is quite a far cry from the, even the bronze at that point. I mean, we're looking at a huge increase of 60 watts over the bronze and 80 watts over the gold rated power supply. So I think we can see here that uh, it could make a significant difference in uh, power consumption, especially when you uh, go from, uh, it wasn't like as big between the bronze and the gold as it is between this non-certified whatsoever and then the gold. This could make a significant difference, uh, probably uh, even well worth the cost difference between the two power supplies. Even though this power supply is a 400 watt and um, you can definitely see it's pulling more than that from the wall, that actually the wall um, power consumption doesn't have anything to do with that 400 watts. The 400 watts is the maximum output that that power supply can do to the computer in direct current. Alternating current can vary and that is where you're going to get into the efficiency. It takes more uh, AC power to make the same DC power. So it actually wasn't overloading the power supply. I ran it like this for probably 20 minutes and I even monitored like the output temperature with my hand. I mean obviously it's not scientific but it wasn't making any smells, it wasn't smoking, it wasn't burning my hand or anything like that. Uh, so it definitely uh, wasn't overloaded the power supply uh, for sure. So to wrap it all up, I think we can definitely tell that it makes quite the difference when you get a good quality power supply that is 80 plus certified uh, at the very minimum bronze but uh, it made a huge difference. Uh, like I said before, not as dramatic between bronze and gold, but between non-80 plus and then the bronze or the gold, that was uh, quite a bit bigger difference than even I was expecting. So anyway, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, comment below and let me know what you think. And as always, thank you for watching.